All right. Got to remember my spiel. And <laughs> All right. Sports predictions, not movie sports. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Sports Predictions. I am your host, Movie Master Mike. And Boston Boy. All right. We are back and just as mediocre as ever for week five of the NFL 2014 season. Yeah, last week. Let's do a recap by. real quick of last week. Uh, Giants and Redskins. Giants won. Big win. Yeah, big win. Wow, we both had Redskins. Bills and Texans. Texans won. I think we both had Texans. Yeah. Uh, Panthers, Ravens. I think I had Ravens. You had Panthers and the Ravens won. Packers, Bears. You had Packers. I had Bears and the Packers Packers won. won. (laughs) Uh, Lions at the Jets. We both had the Lions winning and the Lions won. Texans or Titans at the Colts. Colts won. We both picked that. Dolphins and Raiders, we both picked the Dolphins and they won. <coughs> Bucks and Steelers, we both picked the Steelers and the Bucks won. Wow. Big upset. Yeah. yeah, Jags and Chargers, Chargers won, we both picked Chargers. Falcons and Vikings, we both picked the Falcons and the Vikings won. Big, big win, yeah. Yep. Especially after the Falcons' big win the week before. Yeah. <coughs> All right, uh, Eagles, Niners, and we both picked the Eagles to win because they're a fourth quarter team and they couldn't do it. Yeah. So the Niners won. Uh, the Saints and Cowboys, we both had Saints, and the Cowboys, Cowboys just demolished them. Wow. The and the Patriots-Chiefs, we kind of knew that the Chiefs were going to win. But not like that. Yeah, and we got to pick our Patriots to win, usually. Yeah. I don't know if you want to talk about that game a little bit. I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah, let's talk about this game. That's, it's our team. So. Yeah, uh, man, I don't know. Like at, at first, I was really pissed off and upset and you know, pacing around like I always do, whatever, and the more it went on, like, I just didn't even know how to feel. Like, I guess it's kind of like the, what is it, the stages of loss or grief? Or oh, whatever, yeah, stages of grief, Like, yeah. at first I was just angry and then, I guess, finally acceptance. Maybe that's what it was, but <laughs> I don't know. It was a, a weird feeling and an unusual feeling, not something, something I'm used to. That was the worst, I think, loss in Belichick's history. Wow, heard, really? So, yeah, which, not surprising. Um, I guess maybe this is the end of the dynasty, finally. But Yeah, I didn't get a chance. Well, I woke up early. I was like, all right, Monday Night Football, Patriots oh, are playing, you? you know, and it's like, fuck, it's on ESPN. Go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, and I, I don't have cable, so I was like, man. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, okay. so that sucks. But, you know, I was keeping updates on the scores online, and, mm. and it was like 21 0, 21 7, and, or 28 7. And I was like, yeah, we finally fuck. scored. Even that score, though, it was like, it was strange. Like, he, like, squeezed it into a window, too, what's his name, LaFell, and he kind of just, it was almost like a pity, like, go ahead and just take it. I don't know. <laughs> It wasn't yeah. a competitive drive or anything, but yeah, that sucks. So in week four, I was six for seven, and you were six for seven as well. So yeah, we bad week for us. Yeah, but there's a lot of surprises. Upset from the. Hopefully, you know, last week I was saying the Buccaneers are looking like the the worst team in the league because of their blowout, and then the Patriots have a similar blowout, and they came right. back and won. Yeah. And the Falcons turn around and lost, so maybe it'll be like that next week for the Patriots. Well, let's hope. So let's get on into it. Week yeah. five. <clears throat> All right, uh, game one: Vikings at the Packers. Man, uh, normally I'd say yeah, Packers all the way, but the way the Vikings played last week with Teddy Bridgewater, although I heard he hurt his ankle, but I think he's still set to play. Um, I think Packers are finally getting their swing, and I think uh, Packers are going to win it. All right, yeah, Vikings. They, I don't know, they kind of went up and down. Like they, they had a few losses, had a few good wins, surprising wins. And the Packers, yeah, they looked pretty crummy early the first couple of weeks. I mean, they got week two, they won. Well, but Castle was playing, but yeah, Bridgewater's been doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that Bridgewater guy for the Vikings, he did real good. Yeah. But I'm going with you. They, the Packers, they're going to win. They, Like you said, they're finally getting their stride. Aaron Rodgers looks like he's like, all right, finally, let's do this. We're going to win. So yeah. I'm going to go Packers. All, all right, right, next game. And that was the Thursday game, so Sunday games. Bills at the Lions. Bills Lions. That's a, that's a good one too. Um Bills at first looked really good. They were like, you know, top five in the power rankings and since then have failed as expected this year. <laughs> Lions, uh, they're like they always have been, you know, that you think that I think they're gonna win, you know, they play well and then the next week they don't. Um, last week they won, so I guess you would expect them to lose, but I'm still gonna go Lions at home. And the Bills with uh, E. J. Manuel, like they they, they have the skill sets to, to win. But yeah, something about them like they just 
They just don't seem like the. Oh yeah, they took EJ Manuel out. That's right. EJ Manuel is now no longer their quarterback. They are going with the old Denver Broncos quarterback. What's his name? I can't remember. Funny oh, face. Wow, I didn't know that. Another thing to think about. Huh. Wow. Okay. Well, I was gonna go Lions anyway. I'm I think they're a better team, and I like the Lions, so I'm gonna go Lions on that game. Same as you, right? Yeah, yeah, All Lions. Right. Uh, next game: Ravens at the Colts. Ooh, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's a tough game, game right there. Yeah, I keep thinking the Ravens aren't going to do well, and then they, they do well. And Steve Smith has made a big difference in their offense. He's playing better than he ever has, even though he's like 50 or something. But uh, not literally, of course. But, um, man, the Colts, yeah, I keep expecting them to do better, and they did finally get their win. Well, no, they've had uh, two wins now. A couple wins, yeah. Two wins in a row. But I think they were both against like kind of crummy teams. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it's one of those ones where it's a coin flip. I'm going to go home, Team Colts. Yeah, the Colts... A lot of people are picking them to go to the Super Bowl this year over the Broncos. Earlier now, I guess we'll see. But. Yeah, but, yeah, the Ravens, they just keep surprising me. Like, I think they lost week one against the Steelers or whoever they played. Yeah. In a, but they just keep getting better and better, it seems like. And I think I said in one of the other podcasts that uh, Joe Flacco got a, a cannon for an arm. He could throw that ball like, yeah. across the whole field if he needed to. And Yeah. It doesn't just, like, Hail Mary, like, like, I just hope it gets to the guy. Like, he knows, like, this is getting to the guy. Right. So, oh, man, Colts and Ravens, that's a good game. I used to hate the Colts because they were arch enemies of the Patriots. I hate the Ravens, too, though. Yeah. yeah but, now, that, now the Colts have Andrew Luck, I just I have a hard time disliking them, you know? Yeah, yeah, like, um, and when it was the Colts against the Saints in the Super Bowl uh, back in 2010, the 2009 season, right. I was going for the Colts. I mean, I don't have anything against the Saints and, uh, and Drew Brees, but I was just like... You were actually for the Colts, yeah? Yeah, I was like, you know what, like, you know, he is the anti-Tom Brady, you know, and he, we, uh, then with the 07 Super Bowl, we should have went, not the Colts, Colts but yeah. even now in the Broncos, I, I just kind of like, uh, what's his name as the quarterback? Um... Uh, Peyton Manning. Yeah, you know I think he's uh you know he's in those commercials. He seems like a oh, like that's a, why I hate him. He's such a sellout, <laughs> piece of dookie. I don't like him. I, I, know, I just I just think he seems like a like a good guy. You know he's a good I think quarterback. That's what they want to portray, but, yeah, but anyway, I, mean, I guess he is. He's a hard working dude. Whatever. I just yeah. I hate him. Fuck him. But. Yeah, yeah. I don't root for him. You know now, but uh, but yeah, Andrew Luck. I just like the the guy. You know, yeah, he's, like goofy, he's goofy looking, but so nice yeah, part I, of I'm gonna have to go home team the Colts. I think the Colts are gonna win. All right. All right. Next game: Browns at the Titans. <sighs> Browns at Titans. Um, the Browns have been very surprising. Although I didn't expect them to suck as much as they normally do, and they haven't. They've they've done very well. Yeah, a, um, a few losses, but I think they were they were close games. Yeah, the ones that they have lost were close. They've been in every game, and uh, Titans had a surprising win in Week One, and since then I haven't. You know, they haven't made a whole lot of fireworks or anything. So, um, Browns, I think they're ready for, or they're, they're due for a win, and uh, I think they'll do it against the Titans at home. Yeah, I don't have much to say about Browns and Titans. Titans, yeah, yeah they don't look as good as they did in week one, and uh, the Browns have looked pretty good every week, so I'm going to go Browns. Good All right, next game, we've got Bears at the Panthers. Another another game where it's like, well, both teams look good at points and bad at points. Yeah, well, the Panthers, I keep expecting them to look good, and they, they keep not looking good. Um, yeah. I keep, I keep choosing them, so I think that this week I'm going to stop that trend and watch this be the week that they come out and <laughs> on all cylinders. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and go Bears. Ah, this is a tough one for me because again, like both teams had their their time in the spotlight nice, but at times. But oh man, Bears and Panthers. Um, I don't hate either team. I kind of like both. I hate Jay Cutler's yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't like his face either. But I mean, Cam Newton. You know, his first season he did excellent in the in the, uh, in the NFL. The second season, everyone didn't like him because he was down by three touchdowns and he was posing like Superman. It's like, yeah. what are you doing? Like, get back and play. Like, right. But then last year he had uh, a pretty good season. But I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with you. I'm gonna go with Bears. Yeah. Bears over the Panthers. <clears throat> All right. Next game, Texans at the Cowboys. Damn, another one. Yeah, man, I keep expecting the Cowboys to suck, and lately they've been doing good. They beat the Saints. That was a big upset, at least yep. in my mind. Yeah. I guess we'll get to that in a minute. The Saints uh, not doing as well as I expected, but um, this is a good game to uh, Texas teams. 
Yep, yep. I, I want to say team. Cowboys because the way they played last week, but you know, it's it's up and down in that Romo coaster, right. which we keep mentioning. But yeah, I feel like it's going to go down again, and the Texans are going to win. I'm going to go Texans. I was thinking the same thing with the whole Romo coaster. Like he's he's looked real good. Um, what is their record right now? I don't even know. Three, three and one. one. They've only yeah, lost both one three game. And one. Wow. So is Houston. But Houston lost to New York. But Dallas lost to the Titans. So. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. It's gonna be a tough one. Um, what is it New York? I can't remember who the Texans lost to. Yeah. Either way. Um, that Romo coaster. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with JJ Watt in the Texans. Yeah, he's the man. Big yeah. uh, pick six last week. Yeah, so I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go JJ Watt in the Texans. We're gonna go over the Cowboys. All right, next game: Steelers at the Jaguars. Should be an easy one. Yeah, it should be. But the Steelers lost to the Buccaneers last week, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I can't ever gamble and, and put anything on the Jaguars. So. Steelers will come back and, and win this week. Yeah, I gambled on the Jaguars in week two, and it was a huge mistake. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to go with the Steelers. They are a far superior team. All right, next game, Bucks at the Saints. <clears throat> Here we yeah. go. Both teams, uh, unexpected wins and losses last week. Yeah, man. Um, Saints, I, I thought that they were going to do much better. I was saying earlier that they would be the 0-2 team. They were going to make it to the playoffs, and <clears throat> they've just been on a skid. And it gets to a point where – you know, you have your trap game. Even the great teams, they lose a game here and there. But <clears throat> when you're in week four, it's no longer a trap game. It becomes a trend. You know, this is the team you are. So, yeah. nonetheless, they're playing the Buccaneers, and they're at home, the Saints. So, um, Saints are going to come out of that skid at least for one week, and they're going to win at home. Yeah, the Saints, uh, was it last year <coughs> or uh, the year before? They lost their coach. Um, year before, oh, shit, man. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember either. <laughs> I think it was the year before. Seasons just fly by, but... Uh, but the off season seems like it takes an eternity. But anyway, yeah, like you know that season, it was like they were like zero and six or whatever. Like they they just sucked, and like they got like one win, then two wins, then three wins. It was like wow, like, they could come back and maybe win their division, and they lost again. Yeah. So that kind of seems like the way it's going now. Like you said, like once you start losing that many times, it's like wow, like what, what can you even do to win? Yeah. But they're a horrible road team, and they're at home. Yeah. Against a terrible team. Well, seemingly they're, yeah, they're a terrible, terrible team. team. Yeah, yeah. They, they had a nice game last week. Yeah. But. So I'm going to go home team Saints, just as you. All right, next game, Falcons at the Giants. Jeez. This is another pretty good one. Like, uh, <clears throat> I was really hoping that the Giants would just stay in that skid and just suck all year, but they've had a couple really good games, and they're, they're finally getting their, their uh, stride or whatever. Um, Falcons aren't doing as well as they did when they smashed the Buccaneers or at least last week. I can't go with the I can't go with the Giants. I'm gonna go Falcons for the win. Yeah, the Giants one of those teams that you know they suck, but they get to the Super Finally, Bowl. Yeah, yeah it's like, what the fuck? So <laughs> um, I wouldn't be surprised if the Giants came out and won. And yeah, Manning played a good game, but I wouldn't be surprised either way. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the Falcons just because I fucking hate the Giants so much. And yeah. I really want them to lose, so hopefully, you know, if you wish hard enough, maybe it'll come true. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work for me last Sunday when the Patriots were getting their ass whooped. But. Yeah. All right, next, Rams at the Eagles. Rams at Eagles. Uh, it's, I don't really have a whole lot to say about this. I mean, the Eagles are way, way better. Uh, I can't even remember the name of the quarterback that the Rams are putting in this week, so uh, <laughs> Eagles. Yeah, yeah, the Rams, I don't know, they're, they're going to fade into obscurity, so... And the Eagles, they probably should have won last week. I was rooting for them. Yeah. So, and they're a fourth quarter team. They're going to yeah. come out. Even if they are losing for whatever reason, they should come back in the fourth quarter and win. So I'm going to go Eagles. Yeah. All right, next. Wow, Cardinals at Bron- the Broncos. Broncos. Don't they have matching records? I believe they do. They three and one. are 2-1 and 3-0. Oh. and three and oh. Three and wow, oh, yeah, Cardinals right. are undefeated. That's, that's right. right. They, had, they had a bye. All right. Um, so Cardinals, according to the, the uh, record, are the better team. They're not at home. They're playing at mile high, and man, this is going to be a good high. game. The Cardinals train at over a mile high up in Flagstaff, Arizona. Uh, that's right. And that's yeah. over a mile high, so you know they train in a high altitude, you know, thin air. So yeah. it's fucking mile high, Broncos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, they're they're kind of used to that. Cause that's where they train. Yeah. So it's, it's no big <clears throat> surprise for them. 
Yeah. Well, I was just saying, I mean, the name of the yeah. stadium. They're, I mean, they're oh, playing yeah. at Broncos Stadium. But yeah. uh, I'm going to go. This is going to be my upset, at least according to, I'm sure, what a lot of people are going. I'm going to go Cardinals. I was thinking the same thing when I first looked at this game. Like, I like the Cardinals. They're my secondary team from Arizona. And I was like, are they really better than the Broncos? Can they really, can they really beat Peyton Manning at home? I mean, they went last year into Seattle and won. Yeah. Which you know nobody does, right? So they can they can pull off the upsets and stuff, but it's like Peyton Manning, like you no, know, he's not nearly as hot as he was last year. Last year was right. just out of this world, right? But <clears throat> you know, are the Cardinals really capable of going to Denver and beating them? And I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna go with you. The upset. I'm going All right. with the Cardinals. Let's make the upset the team that we like this time, not yeah. the fucking Jets. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right. We both got the Cardinals beating the Broncos at home. Next game, Chiefs at the Niners. Another good game. These are all really good. At least based on the way the Chiefs played the Patriots, they played an awesome game. I mean, the Patriots sucked, but that was because the Chiefs played so well. Uh, I think, uh, of course, I can't think of his goddamn name, the the quarterback. Uh, Smith? Oh, yeah, Alex Smith, yeah. He, I think it was like 133 uh, quarterback uh, rating, which is like, a few points from a perfect game. Like wow. he played really, really well. He he's just a good quarterback. Yeah, he is. He is. Um, and we, I think we say that like almost every week that he's uh, yeah, yeah. better than people. He, he can't seem to shake that game manager, uh, you know, a label that they kind of put on him. Instead of just a good quarterback, he just makes good decisions. You know, Forty um, mm-hmm. ers uh, aren't doing as well as people probably would have expected this year. Uh, but they're playing at home. I was gonna go Chiefs, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Forty ers 49ers. All right, yeah, this is a good game. The Chiefs. <clears throat> hmm. Niners are at home. They are a capable team. They went to the Super Bowl, you know, last season or the season before. Hmm. Uh, they almost went last year. Oh, man. Um, but the Chiefs, yeah, they played a really good game. They were really good last year. And Alex Smith is a good quarterback. And, oh, is this, this the is first time they've, they've met? I think they played once before. I don't know. That's a good question. I can't remember if they played <coughs> last year or not. And if they did, it was probably at the Chiefs. Yeah. They, they kind of, you know, when they play each other, they switch, or they tend to. Yeah. But, hmm, yeah, meeting his own old team on his this old This is a really turf. tough one. Yeah, this is a tough one. I kind of want to go Chiefs after that awesome game they had. You know, they're riding the, the momentum. But the Niners won as well. Yeah, not not a not wow. a big win like theirs, but yeah. Chiefs also broke like the sound, the stupid freaking sound, uh, uh, world Guinness record. Oh, really? Thing. They they broke it, you know. So I think that might have had a lot to do with it being at home, and they were just kind of riding that high, you know. But mm, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to go 49ers at home, mm-hmm. just because I think uh, Kaepernick is really good. Like, there's a reason they chose him over Smith. Yeah. You know. Ah. Uh, I still don't know that they made the right decision. I mean, yeah, that was a tough decision for them, but yeah. Yeah. 49ers. All right. Next, Jets at the Chargers. Jets at Chargers. Um, <coughs> I like um, this game. I you wish like I could this watch game? this game, but I don't think I'll be able to. Uh, I'll see what I can do. But um, I, I guess uh, I don't really – fuck the Jets, Chargers. Chargers are better. They're going to be at home. They're going to win. That's what I have to say about that. That's pretty much exactly what I was going to say. Fuck the Jets. The Chargers are better, and they're at home. Yeah. Chargers are going to win. win. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, next game, the last game on Sunday is Bengals at the Patriots, the late game. And by the way, for us, this makes week five that they'll be televised, that I'll be able to watch the game. So um, that's cool for me. But uh, I'm not so sure that I'll want to watch this game. My gut tells me <laughs> that uh, I thought at first that, that we were playing the Bengals at home, but I guess we'll be in Foxborough, which is good. Kinda, um, maybe make the the loss a little bit lower, being that they'll be at home. And for the first time, I'm gonna pick the Bengals to win. Wow! Wow! Okay, because the Patriots, it's rare that they win or they lose back to back. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. very rare. They did it uh, a few years ago. We lost to the Steelers and then the Giants, or vice versa. I forget what the order we played them in, but we did lose two back to back, but. I mean, it's very rare. Usually, we come come out and just Especially maybe maybe loss maybe like not that. destroy, but we usually do win a game after a loss. But you're right; the Bengals—they're just a better team. Last yeah. year, they were probably a better team, but we just found a way to win last year. Yeah, I think the win over the Broncos really helped us get that number two seed. Yeah, 
And uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I, I'm not ready to give up on the Patriots yet. But uh, this game, I don't think is one that they're going to win. I think they. Yeah, you don't think it's going to be another upset with the Patriots winning at home against the Bengals? No. I kind of want to say Patriots just because of that. Like it's it's, at home. it's after a loss. I, it's I was going to pick the Patriots right until this moment at win Bengals, but I I'm yeah, stick like, to that. I think with you, my gut says the Bengals are going to win. Yeah. So I want the Patriots to win, but my gut says Bengals. I'm going to go Bengals. All right. That's just one of those things. Ah, oh, it hurts. Yeah, I know. I just feel so uncomfortable. <laughs> I need to take a shower now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's that dirty to go yeah. against the Patriots at home. All right, then we got our Monday night game, the last game of the week, the Seahawks at the Redskins. Um, I don't really know what to say. Yeah, Seahawks, uh, they they won last week, right? Yeah, yeah, but they, they lost the week before that. But either way, it's going to be in prime time. I think they're going to shine. Even though on the road, they're going to go out and win Seahawks. Did the Seahawks even play last week? Okay, no, so they're no. coming off a loss, I guess, most recently then, right? Week three? Yeah, week three they lost against the Broncos. Or no, they they won. They beat the Broncos. Okay, so their most yeah. recent game was a win, but... Either way, they're they're playing at night. I think they'll they'll do good in the limelight, just like they did in the Super Bowl, and uh, I think they'll they'll win. Yeah, I guess the Redskins. I, I don't see them really having any problem beating them, so I'm going to go Seahawks over the Redskins for the win. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, that was another episode of Sports Predictions of the 2014 season, Week Five. We're already a quarter of the way through I the know. season. It's That's crazy. crazy. You want uh, maybe do some uh, rankings, like give them a grade after a quarter? What do you think? Uh, sure. Um, well, the Patriots get an F. <laughs> um, oh, here's all the teams right here. So okay. Let's, let's go. Uh, this is the order of the teams from week one. So Packers, what do you give them? Um, I guess a B minus, I'd say. I, I think at first I maybe would have given them a C or maybe even lower, but... Last week, uh, Aaron Rodgers famously said, "Oh, everyone relax. relax," and then he came out and tore it up. So uh, I give him a B minus. B minus. All right, and the Seahawks. Um, a minus. They lost the game to the Chargers, and that was a big upset. So A minus. Good yeah. team. Great team. All right, uh, Packers and Seahawks both. I'll probably give them a B. Um. No, the Seahawks B plus and the Packers B minus because you know the Packers had two losses, the Seahawks only had the one. But you know it was like it was like wow, they really they lost. Yeah. You know, so I don't think either of them look as spectacular as the Seahawks did last year. So I mean, at first they came out, they really looked like they were going to come oh, yeah. out win the Super Bowl again. But yep. since they've been exposed, and it was against the Packers. But yeah. um, all right, Bills and Bears. Um, Bills. Uh, I don't know if, how we're ranking this. I mean, if it's like uh, in contrast to where I thought they would be, uh, if that is the case, and I guess I'd give them a B plus because they're doing a lot better than I expected. But the fact that they just came out and benched DJ Manuel, I, I think that was kind of premature and, and kind of unexpected. Like, uh, yeah, sure, he didn't play a great game, but you know, he's led you guys to a few victories, and he's not terrible. Um, yeah, well, the Bills are uh, two and two. Two and two, yeah, same as uh, same as the Patriots. Um, and the Bears, uh, I can't really rank them lower than the other teams so far. I'll say B minus for the Bears as well. Yeah, I would uh, give them both. I don't know, C pluses. Yeah. You know, because like they've played some good games and they lost some. And I don't know. They just neither of them look like they're gonna, you know, make any waves in the NFL. So let's just see. Maybe C plus. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Bengals and Ravens. How about them? Bengals, they're undefeated. They're really, really good team. Um, you still have to give them an A at least so far. Hopefully, I'm wrong in my pick and the Patriots smash them, and I can give them like a D or something <laughs> later. But uh, for right now, I'll give them an A. Oh, yeah, they're gonna be my first A. How about the Ravens? Ravens. Um, they're three and one. Yeah, they've done better than I expected. Um, I'll give them an A minus. Yeah, I would give uh, Bengals an A, and yeah, probably he minus the Ravens, so they just look like they hit their stride, and they're going to keep winning. Yeah. All right, uh, how about Browns and Steelers? 
Browns and Steelers, I'd say they're about as good as each other. <clears throat> in fact, the Browns might even be better in my mind. Um, yeah, well, the Browns but, are 1-2 and two going yeah. into Week 5. And, and the Steelers are 2-2. Two and two two. And two. Um, nonetheless, uh, if we're, again, putting this in contrast to previous years, I think the Browns are doing much better than I expected. And uh, I like them as a team this year. I'd say B. Uh, Steelers are doing... I guess where you'd expect, maybe a little less than that, so I'd say C for the Steelers. Uh, is the Browns, even though they have like a losing record, um, they've been tough games, so I'm gonna have to give them a C plus. And the Steelers, nah, maybe a C, just because I don't know. I always feel like the Steelers should be, you know, they should make the playoffs like every year, mm. but. This year, it's just like, well, they might just kind of get a 500, you know, maybe a little over. Similar last year, yeah. Yeah, so. <clears throat> All right, how about Redskins and Texans? Uh, Redskins, I think they're kind of just a joke right now. I mean, they're the con- the quarterback controversy that uh, up until, <clears throat> what was it, Kirk Cousins had a terrible game last time he played. Um, uh, and then RG3, of course, just has been sucking all year. So um, compared to where I think they should be, I'm going to give them a C-. minus. Uh, I'm sorry, what was the next team? Uh, the next team was... Uh, Texans. Texans. Texans have been doing better than I expected. Uh, well, no, I, I think they're where they should be. I'll give them a B. All right. Um, well, the Redskins are 1-3. and three. I'm going to give them a C. They... Um, I don't know. I just don't think they're the greatest, you know? Yeah. The way that the Cowboys and the Giants will probably play this year. They're probably not going to make the playoffs, the Redskins. Right. So, maybe we'll see. And then... And, and the Eagles, not to mention, but anyhow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Eagles yeah, it's a tough division. Yeah. Well, I mean, hopefully the Giants just crash and burn, but right. they probably will. You get the Eagles there, yeah. Yeah. All right, and then uh, the Texans, yeah, J.J. Watt, I mean, you can never count them out. Was it last year they had a terrible season? Yeah, really, really bad, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so... <coughs> but they probably shouldn't have. So I'm going to give them a... C plus B minus, like right there on the edge, like they're right about where they should be, above five hundred. Um, I don't even know who else is in their division. I can't even think of that oh, who's in the division, but doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but you know they, they'll probably make the playoffs if they keep playing well. So, all right, next uh, let's just give who is next? Uh, yeah, Jaguars, Jags and Eagles. Eagles. <coughs> Jags, they're where they always are. I give them a D. Um, we'll see how they do the rest of the year, but I don't see it changing. Eagles have been really good. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the two uh, running back set with Sproles and Deshaun Jackson. Or, sorry, not Deshaun Jackson, uh, Shady McCoy. Um, I give them an A. And even though they lost last week, it was a close game. Um, so, yeah, I give them an A. Yeah, Jag, I'm going to give them a D minus. They suck. Yeah. Fuck them. They're. they're teetering on a fail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the Eagles, yeah, I'm going to give them an A because they play really good football games, so yeah. I like them. All right, Titans and Chiefs? Um, Titans, really not a whole lot to say about them. Yeah, um, right? I mean, they, they came out won their first game. That was unexpected, but they didn't do anything else after that. So uh, um, D, Chiefs came out and played an almost perfect game against the Patriots. Uh, I'm going to give them an A+. Plus. Despite right. their record, uh, Titans. I'm gonna give them D, maybe D minus. Same as Jags. It's just like, well, who cares? Yeah. And Chiefs. Uh, I'm gonna give them a B plus. Yeah, maybe a little because, overboard. But yeah, because based of their, on last week, because of their record. But like, I know their record doesn't reflect how good they are. Yeah. You know what they did last week to the Patriots maybe was a little higher than what they should be. Right. But they're up there. I mean, they're a good team. So. All right, next, uh, Patriots and Dolphins. How are they ranking? Patriots, they they fail. They fail. They're not where I want them to be. I mean, their team really this year should have been an upgrade from last year. Overall, they've got basically the same team. I think the biggest difference has been their O-line. It's been a disaster for them because, you know, they can't get Brady. It's all anyone's even talking about, whatever. They, they fail for now. Yeah, I'm going to have to give them a D- minus just because... Again, they should be about on par as they were last year, which was last year. I didn't expect them to get twelve wins. I said about ten. Yeah, maybe yeah, yeah make the playoffs. Yeah, and then this, the but this year I see ten is maybe a stretch. AFC East is like up for grabs, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah it really is. 
Uh, so yeah, D only because maybe D minus. They haven't really been playing good football. Those two yeah. wins were Skinny not very good wins. Yeah. yeah. And the uh, Dolphins, Dolphins, uh, I never C, the Dolphins, but. C minus. Oh, yeah, you didn't, huh? No, it's fine. I can about the same, by the way. C, C minus, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, they're not <coughs> playing great. They're not playing really bad. Yeah. So, Vikings, Rams. Vikings, based on last week, they turned it around, man. They yeah, really good. that quarterback, um, he really. So, um, man, I guess it's a B minus. Um, we'll see how, play, how they play this week. And then <coughs> Rams, um. They haven't been terrible. Like they haven't been really, really bad. They've been in some close games. So um, C plus for the Rams for now. Uh, Vikings, I give them C plus, B minus, right there because they don't look the best, but they're better than the Patriots by yeah. far. And they probably should have beat the Patriots. Right. <clears throat> All right, Rams. Yeah. Uh, yeah. C minus, C, because. Based on their record, probably D minus. But yeah. like you said, like they're not playing really shitty football like the Patriots did last week. Yeah. So, Saints and Falcons. Um, How are they ranking? Saints. I mean, compared to where, <coughs> excuse me, compared to where they should be, I'm gonna say a D. Um, Falcons have been playing one week they're really really good, next week they're all right. Um, I'd say they're B minus Falcons. Yeah, Saints. Wow, they suck this year. It's crazy. Yeah. I'm going to have to give them a D plus, only because some of their games, while they lose, they're still being playing better than the Patriots. Right. The Patriots, they have a better record, right? The Patriots? Uh, yeah, I yeah. Owen, oh, wait, oh, this is week one. Two and two, <laughs> I think. I think they're both two and two. Saints don't. Yeah. Or no, we're talking about Saints. Sorry, yeah, Saints are one, one and three. three. Yeah, so, I mean, the Patriots have a better record, but they're playing about the <clears> same. Yeah. You know, so, you know, D ish, somewhere in there. And the Falcons, uh, I'm going to give them a C plus Because the games they win, they win strong. And the games they lose, it's like, really? Come on. Yeah. You know? So C, C plus, maybe maybe B minus. All right, uh, Raiders and Jets. Raiders, they just fired their head coach. They're <clears throat> pretty much a disaster. This season's lost for them. So they have a D minus for me. The Jets... Um, quarterback controversy they might put in Michael Vick they're just a laughing stock right now and uh, I'll give them a D and I'll go ahead and drop that to an F for fuck the Jets <laughs> <laughs> uh, Raiders and Jets yeah they both suck um, I don't see either team doing great I think the <coughs> AFC East if the Patriots can pull it out we'll go to the Patriots if not probably the Dolphins mm. maybe the Bills like I said, like yeah. all, all four teams aren't really that good. Right. The Dolphins. Thank God for that, because that's why we're consistently the top. Because we're yeah. But anyway. Yeah, uh, I'll give them both D minuses. But uh, all right, Panthers and Bucks. How are they? Working? Um, man, both teams have been uh, underwhelming. You know, or less than expected this year. So, um, Panthers so far, I'm gonna give them a C minus. Buccaneers came out and won their game last week, so that's gonna put them up a little bit. Uh, I'll give them a C minus as well. Yeah, that's about where I'd put both of them as well, because the Panthers sh- they should be playing better, but they're not. So maybe give the Panthers just a straight C, and the Bucks C minus D plus. They're right there on the fence because they do suck, but yeah. but yeah. All right, Forty Niners and Cowboys. After four weeks, how are they looking? Uh, 49ers, um, I'm just going to say straight C because, you know, they're, well, yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll say C. Um, I mean, they should be doing a lot better, but uh, they did win last week against a tough team. Uh, Cowboys, at first they were really sucking, and then they've won a couple of good ones, so uh, they'll get a B from me for now. Uh, their O-line has been the big difference for them, and um, that's what's keeping them winning games right now. Yeah, Niners, I would like to give them... Like a B, but C, C plus, because they they won some good games. And then Cowboys, God, I hate I hate the fact that the Cowboys are doing well right now. Hopefully the Roma coaster <laughs> goes, goes, yeah, goes down. Because yeah. I don't like the Cowboys. Everyone I work with is a Cowboys fan. Uh, I, know, like, uh, I hate it. So, but I'm gonna have to give them a C plus. Looking all right. Yeah. 
All right, Colts and Broncos, both really good. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, the Colts... They're, what, 2-2? Two and two? Yeah, I guess... Uh, I expect them maybe to be 3-1. and one. I, I thought they would do better this year and really be in the hunt for, for maybe Super Bowl even. Um, so based on that, I'm going to give them a B- because I think the rest of their year will, year will go a lot better. Broncos, at least compared to last year, they're, they're definitely not the team they were, and they've yeah. added some weapons on on offense and, offense and defense. Um, so perhaps should be doing even better. Um, I'm going to give them a B for this year. I'm going to give them both a B because both teams should be 4-0 because they played each other, so one of them had to get a loss. Yeah. But they're both that good. And I, th- I think the Broncos, like you said, like they should be as good or better than they were last year, but I think last year was just one of those lightning in a bottle. It only happens once. Yeah, that's not they're gonna happen. never going to... Peyton Manning's never going to come out and just have an incredible record-shattering season like that ever again. I mean, this is probably his last season anyway, but... Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to give them both... Both Bs? Is that what I said? Yeah. Yeah. We're both also starts with a B. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Giants and Lions. How are they looking? Giants. Ah, oh, man. Um, they've come out and done a lot better the last couple of weeks, so that, to my chagrin, brings them up. Uh, to my chagrin, I like that. Yeah, I'll, I'll give him a C plus. Uh, I gotta give him a B minus. They really, they really stomped on shit last week. Yeah. Lions, uh, as per usual, they're up and down. Haven't really, haven't really solidified themselves either way as a shitty or or a good team yet. So I'll give them a C for now. Um, I'm gonna give the Lions a B because they're three and one. Uh, they've got they've had some good games, and then the Giants they beat uh Packers right. Lions, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They beat the Packers, so yeah, you know they got a division win. That's good, uh, especially against a team that you know that's the team that they're going to be fighting the for the beat in the division. Yeah, yeah so uh, and the Giants I'm going to give them a B minus because you know they had some two really good back to back wins. So yeah. <clears throat> All right, Chargers and Cardinals. Chargers have been. Uh, I think they're as good this year as they are every year. It's just this year, you know, they've been against teams that, that have been considered upsets. Um, yeah, but I think they're always a good team, and they just kind of lose tough games sometimes. But um, what are they? Three and one. I believe they are. Do they play this week? I believe so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, they're yep, three and one. one. So I'm gonna give them a B plus this year because of that win over the. I'm gonna give them an A minus because they beat the Seahawks um, to, on the way to that three and one record. And what about the? Oh, sorry. What about the, was uh, the Cardinals? Uh, Cardinals. Oh, Cardinals. Okay, well they're the Cardinals, undefeated. The only team that beat them. Yeah, they're undefeated. Right, the one team that did beat them. So if I'm gonna give the Chargers an A minus, I guess I have to give the Cardinals for now an A plus. They might be. One of my only pluses. Yeah. Um, See how they do against the Broncos. But. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with you. Uh, the Chargers, three and one. They beat the reigning champions mm-hmm. last year. Uh, they were the team at one point in the playoffs had beaten all the remaining playoff teams. Yeah. So, which included the Colts and the Broncos. Right. Yeah. Or, or maybe it wasn't. All the remaining ones, or, or there, there was some kind of stat like that where they had beaten teams that were still there but yeah. weren't in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, like they're they're looking pretty good this year. I have to give them an A minus, three and one. You know, and they've only lost to the Cardinals, who are three and zero. Yeah. So I'm not going to give them an A plus. I'm just going to give them an A. For the Chargers. No, for uh, well, the Chargers get an A minus. Cardinals get an A. An a. You know, they're undefeated and beat the Chargers. And then if they beat the Broncos, they're gonna get a plus plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they get <laughs> plus 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 because that's just going into Denver and winning. That would be cool. But yeah. all right, so that's how we rank our teams after one quarter of the season yeah. over in the books. All right, that'll do it for us for another edition of Sports Predictions. I'm your host, Movie Master Mike, and uh, this is Boston Boy. <laughs>